Hi guys, this is Carlos and Crafting. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to paint. Now this video will not be ready until Wednesday, but I'm in a different area, different room. Um, so today we're doing the Briars Colorful Horses. We're gonna be doing this today. I already took them out the box and everything, so I was just getting everything ready. For when I do these beautiful horses, as you see, they're just blank canvas. I'm gonna do three of them, and I'm going to also use my my color um, my paint markers um, that I got from Amazon. I will link all prices of everything down below. So whenever I showed you guys this, I thought okay, we're gonna see if this works. Does it also work on glass, metal, porcelain, and rubber? And I want to see how these markers work. So we're going to open them. I haven't tested them out yet. So they say you're supposed to shake them and all that. So we're going to try them out and see how all this works. So we're going to try these markers out. We're going to paint some horses. And trying to get everything, I'm trying to just get everything open. So we can paint the horses. And they come in different colors. So you're getting all types of colors in here. So we're going to see. So we're supposed to shake them up. So we're going to shake them all up. And if you don't like the noise, just mute your phone. So you can take them up before you use them. Okay, shake, shake, shake. And they got plastic on each one of them, so you gotta take time and time to take each of the plastic off of these. these markers. I'm starting to probably use the surface of this right here. And we're gonna take the plastic off of here so i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i know i am because that we did the yard again so they said you're supposed to press down to the shape the cap well the cap before each use this is press the tip then supposed to take the cap off and you're supposed to press the tip to validate it once only and then pump the tip up and down to start flow one two yep that's how it go and then secure lid on it so as we can see this do work Ooh, they do work and that's what it does And that's how the paint, you can spell out your name with these little markers. Those are really cool markers. So that's how those markers work. Let's try another color. Let's see if we can um, like shade it in with the paint. We're gonna try a pink color. So I know on any portion, like uh, uh, in many other surfaces, and this is, that's a cardboard surface that I did that on so let's see and just to activate them I didn't activate them all I just get one at a time here and then okay there we go so let's see Look at that. And this is what the paint markers. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna like this. So ooh, I gotta. So it says you could do it on porcelain and everything else. So maybe I could do a pink horse. Let's try this on this horse. Let's see if we can do the mane of the horse. 
like pink, like a unicorn. Let's see if it works on the porcelain. It's supposed to work. So I'm putting this on the horse. The paint of the horse. Right in the tips of the horse. And it supposed to work on porcelain, so I'm trying to see if this is going to work on here. And I'm working on the horse, so, I'm, so you can see that. I'm using a pen on the horse to see if it's going to work. And then I'm going to try a little bit up here. It, it's kind of good to... Like if you need to get into small little pieces, like areas. If you want to do like small pieces of it. It's good when you need to get into small pieces. I'm just showing you how I'm doing her tail. And I'm trying to get into the small pieces of the unicorn, of the horse. I'm trying to see if I can do this as a unicorn. And I'm going to use the briars. Oops. So that's, well, I know that looks good. So let's try, I might do a brown, a black horse with the mane, or I might do a brown horse. I'll do black or white. Let's see. Let's go with the black horse, the black paint. Hoping it just stay, stay, stay. There I go. So we're going to do the black paint. And I'm very trying to do this right here. Let's, let's do this black paint. So let's see. So we're painting the horse. Trying to get the paint on the horse. And we can buy it here to let this dry too as we doing a paint on the horse. Take all the part of the horse. My part, my horse, he was all black. So, I have to call him Stallion. But we used to ride him in the parade. So I'm trying to see if I could get all this in here for the horse. I'm gonna paint a little bit of his leg, get under his belly. I get all this painted. So I'm going to paint all these horses. I'm just sh showing and sharing with you how I'm painting them. So this is how it's looking. I'm trying to hold this so it won't paint all over my hands. So I'm in a different room, so I'm trying not to get paint on everything.
But this is kind of cool to paint the horses with even strokes. Even strokes. Got it all about his legs. All under his belly. This is very fun, y'all. I think this is very fun. And if you like the paint, this is really good. You could do it with your kids. And you could learn about horses as you're painting them. Kind of get all on, I'll get like all the paint and stuff on that horse. Trying to get everything painted. I don't know, you play like she got the horse all upside down. Never put the horse upside down. Trying to get all, all his legs and everything painted. And we probably let this dry maybe for a few minutes, you know, and then you could put the second coat on. I'm trying to see if I could do this without just too much coat. So as you can see, I'm just painting it, getting everything painted. And if you like horses, like I do, you know, you can, this is good for your kids if they like horses. They could paint the horse. Get up here by his eye. Now. Right by his eyes. This. Making sure I get his eyes over his other mouth. I'm trying to make sure I get his other part of his face. So, as you can see, it's coming out pretty good. I might do a little black and hit the tips of his hair. coming out pretty good it's coming out really really good and if you want to add some other colors to him like you could do some white spots or leave it white if you want to I might leave his like hooves and everything the tip of his um, the tip of his um, leg I might leave white so I got it white so oh. And I might do a little black into this thing in the tail. Just a little bit. I might just go black and pink. A little black and pink. And just a little back of black in this mane. A little bit. Underneath. See? And then I'm just going to do his eyes. His eyes, I might do like a little black eyes. Get this eye over here. I'm trying to get his eyes a little bit. Eyeball, <laughs> his little snoop, get his little nose. And trying to get the little hump a little bit. So, that's what you could do with your horse. You want to add more, you can add more to it. I'm going to add a little bit more black to his tail. Mine seems all black. 
he was all black so this one I'm gonna add a little pink and black to his tail trying to get all this in there so just sharing with you how I do this I don't know I'm not professional with this though if it's a I mean it I can be but I paint for fun I could do a canvas but when it comes to other things I don't know because I just want this nice and perfect make sure all the spots are covered all this your house could be whatever color you want it to be you don't have to be like everybody else or just exactly how it if you want the horse to look exactly like it's supposed to be then you could do that so 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 as you can see I did the horse I did it y'all and if you want to add more pink to your horses so we're gonna let this one dry. So we're gonna let him dry. I'm gonna stand you back a little bit. So that's one horse right there. Oops, he done fell over. I ain't professional, y'all. I ain't professional. So he don't want to stand on his own. So we're gonna put him right here so he can stand. Oh. They won't stand on their own, but... Okay, so let's try this one. Let's do a different color. So let's do a black mane. And maybe we could do his eyes, we're gonna paint his eyes black. I'm gonna do a little black for him. His eyeball right there. I eyeball. I think I put too much in there. Now I'll fix that up. And maybe we could do... Maybe we could go with um, a lighter paint. And I did have a napkin. Oh, I do have a napkin. So you don't want to cross-terminate your paint brushes. Let's go with a lighter brown. Let's go with the brown, lighter brown color. We're gonna go with the lighter brown color. And let's see if this will work. Let's go with the lighter brown. So we're going with the lighter brown color with this horse. Let's see if we could do this with the lighter brown. Don't want to stay on him. I'm doing like a lighter brown and then I'm going to go with the darker brown spots on her and see if that'll work. And do a lighter brown do more on her. So I'm going with the lighter brown and a little dark brown and then I'll go over it. Get into the horse. And we'll do it like that. So, just to get into the horse, just so you can see, just doing it. I'm not going to go the whole video doing it, but just to paint these horses, it takes time and days just to paint them. 
but once I paint them then I'll bring you back on how it looks once I get all the horse painted and stuff once I get him painted and really really done we can get this horse we could get him painted and done so I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit I'm gonna let this go and I'm just gonna get right up under his belly right under the neck and arms and his hoof and if you don't want to use this and this must be a boy God I tell it's a boy I mean they this toy got details <laughs> okay so. but if you like painting horses and you like horses this is a good way to go um, you can do this with your kids if you have a son that likes horses and you want to put miniature horses you could paint them and design them yourself and your horse could be whatever color horse you know you can use your imagination and paint with your horses And these are cool. I like these. Now yeah, see why Froggy like this stuff. I might be hooked on this stuff. I was checking out their brochure where they have the crystal ones too. And I'm like, this is cool. Trying to get under his chin. With the black in here, make sure you clean your brushes though. And it dries, it's drying it pretty fast on this paint. So I just barely put the first coat on there, and I'm already like on the second one coating. It dries pretty fast. Okay, so we're going to let him dry. And I'm going to close this up. So I'm trying to get this painted. And I'm done. I'm going to add some more to this. So I'm going to let this part dry. And so you can see that the horses, how the horses are and how they're painted. This is the brown horse and how this is going on here I might take a darker brown color let me see if I could take a darker brown put a little brown in him take a little dark brown probably go underneath the shadow of his hair With a little dark brown in here. Bring it in here. Let me get a little darker. Just a little dark brown. Bring it into the crevice of this. Make them look real. Right. And I believe I got them. Oh, that's what I got. So. Let me know what you think of these briar horses if you have them. Um, I'm going to paint the rest of them. And then 
can see how these go with the horses um especially with these markers with the markers i mean you could paint them but you want a little white Let's see if I could get on his eyes of people like what his eyes are. A little bit of the white on there. A little white on here and a little white there. A little white up here on his hoof. So yeah. This paint could go on anything. This paint, these markers, the Briar's paint. So with these markers, good paint. You could do anything with these paints. So check out these paintings, these paint markers. Try try these on Amazon. You can go to anything, glass, anything that you want to put it on. Um, any surface that you want to put it on, you can try those on there. You got every color to try it on. Even if I have glass right here, I'll say watch. If I have the glass on here with my thing on here, watch. Cuddles. Hey. You could try it on the glass surface, plastic. These markers go on everything. They go on everything. Look at that. And these are the markers. Nice tip markers. I'm gonna go over it. Make it double. Make flowers. Look at that. And that's all um, the markers. So, with all that being said, I hope you like this channel. Let me know what you think of these markers. If you get them, let me know. Um, they PMA the 520 markers. It tells you on the back up here what type of markers they go on any surface let me know what you think about these markers this is cool i'm glad i got them because i was looking for color like paint markers where i can get into edges or posters or whatever glass i'm going to try it on glass now to see how it works but i'm going to go in here get some rest y'all but let me know what you think about the briar horses if you get it that five y'all try I'm, I'm going to finish them up and let me know what you think of these nice horses. I am really cool with these horses and the packaging. And I think this is really cool. So with those packaging, with the rider horses, the paint and everything, you got paint, you got everything. Let me know what you think about this. And with the color pencils, with the markers, the uh, paint markers, let me know what you think about these paint markers i think this is awesome 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 because you with the paint markers you could paint on this is plastic plastic jar and they also worked on a horse and as you can see it worked on the horse and that's with the pink paint it worked on a horse um so let me know what you think oops knock this stuff over let me know what you think on this one um yeah because it's on the cardboard so it needs to be on a glass surface so, okay, he don't want to stay. He's tired. Okay, <laughs> so let me know what you think about these rider horses that we got. I'm trying to get him to stand. He don't. He's like leaning to one side. Okay, so you can see him. He's right there. So let me know what you think about these rider horses and how they come out. 
I'll let you know how it goes. But the paint markers and the briars, horses by briars. Um, you got a YouTube. You watch Froggy and stuff. She does it really good. She paints them really good. Um, but I'm gonna let you know how it goes, and I'm gonna finish these horses up, and then I'll show you when th when they're done. And don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these riot horses in the paint. So with all that being said, I'll see you.